Yeah, he has one suicidal motherfucker. Looks like your whole empire just crumbled before you. Graham Cray. So, it's over. Yes, it is. Lost to the ruin of punishment, your empire crumbled, your invasion plans failed. What now? I've got a question for you still. What if I didn't answer? I guess that's not an option. I have a good idea what it is you wish to ask me, but I will not respond. I leave you to speculate, forever without answers. I can think of nothing that will harm you more. Humans are the fools of this world, and being a human, you are no exception. And neither am I. Good grief. Is that the best conclusion you could draw? Looks like I'm going to have to train you all over again from scratch. Getting the fuck away. It's gonna take us out. A true no. As mom or something? Well, he was adopted and they never went to who was his parents or anything like that. So pretty much you could have wrote the entire game with somebody else being the bear of the room Wait, making Father, the main hero Mr. Setsu asked pointless. me to do something. Never mind, I'll say it when uh, we get to, you know, the game explain what happened to all 108.
On my honor as the King of Obel, I, Lino and Kuldus, declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Obel. <laughs> This conflict, though tragic, has presented us an opportunity to think about the islands and their citizens. I would like to take this chance now to propose the establishment of an island nation's federation. What say you? I hereby declare the founding of the island nation's federation. Mission Devsi her Perfect So yeah It also exposed a big old plot hole from the beginning. The never went the game never went to the whole background of main character. You really had no impact on any of the events, so you really could have used the rune of punishment on anybody and it will made absolutely no difference. Plus the bad guy, Bram Cray, again, never went into his back story or anything like that. So you could have just thrown the same kind of tendencies that any psychotic, you know, until the hunt kind of character would have, and you would have got the same results. So, graphically, this was a fairly mediocre. Let's just go in real. Uh, I could talk today. So, let's go in quick review of this game. Uh, graphically, aside from all the portraits and stuff like that, this is a really mediocre looking game. 90% of the map is just water. And you'll see so much of it, it's ridiculous. You really need to get the glowing hand mirror. So, exploring Warland for a good part is absolutely useless and it's tedious due to the high encounter rate. And it just looks dated and blocky as all hell. It wor looks worse than even Sukoden 3. Audio, you know, the plot's okay. This game was supposed to be the beginning of a new trilogy, which started with 4, continued with uh, tactics, and ended with 5. If, uh, but, you know, just to use this as like, this is only a small section of the whole world of uh, Sukoden, it's just a piss poor excuse just to half-ass, you know, a game and just...